Hello again everybody, I'm Jose Lopez and what I'm going to show you is how to do a Peruvian tuna ventresca with a causa. Now this is a very typical and tasty Peruvian dish. Causa is basically made of a mashed root, in this case potatoes. It could be done with yams, it could be done with parsnips, it could be done with a lot of things, but we're going to do it with potatoes and we're going to spice it up with what? With Peruvian chilies, Peruvian ají, which is translation for peppers. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut these ají peppers and put them in a blender. Two whole peppers, a couple cloves of garlic, a little sugar, cilantro, Of course, you could use basil or you can use thyme, anything that gives it a little herby taste. Vinegar, malt vinegar, or red wine vinegar, as you prefer. And we blend. Wow, so much taste. Now, what am I going to do with this? What I have here is mashed potatoes, regular mashed potatoes, and uh, I'm going to add some of the chili paste to these mashed potatoes. A couple spoonfuls of the chili paste. Wow. Salt and pepper. The whole idea is for all of the dish to have that Peruvian distinctive taste and a little bit of lime juice. Now I just mix it up. Don't worry, this is not the hottest pepper around. Don't be afraid to put those two spoonfuls for it will only give it a hint of yellow Peruvian ají. I'm going to grab a little bit of bit of this uh, avocado, a little mayo, the rest of this cilantro, red onions, finely chopped red onions, you can use shallots of course, lime juice, and every time you use lime of course you want to add salt and pepper and mix with a couple of spoonfuls of tuna. Now I just mix it up a little bit, not too much, because you're gonna want to see all these textures and colors and not too much. You don't want to do guacamole. So now you take a regular mold, a small mold, and we add the mashed potatoes. Just press it down a little bit, carefully. Now some of the filling, and some more mashed potatoes on top. And you just take it out like so, and wow, there we go. I want to add some more of this beautiful ventresca tuna. There we go. Then I'm going to decorate it with fresh chives and give it an oniony taste and a slight hint of the ahi yellow tuna. And now I'm going to give it a flavorful finishing touch, which is just two spoonfuls of mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise and one spoonful of the Peruvian ahi taste, the Peruvian pepper paste that I did earlier. I mix it up and I just spread it lengthwise in my dish just to finish it up and 
give it a nice decorative, decorative touch. So there you go. I have a wonderful white wine here to enjoy this tasty tuna ventresca Peruvian causa with uh, this ice cold wine. And it will bring out all the spice and the different flavors and textures of this recipe. Enjoy and buen provecho.